He is waking up again. He will comply. Let me go! Presidential candidate Kenneth Morning. Miller appears to have hey. a liquor in selection. According to the latest polls, he has a 6% lead of voter intention. With election day approaching, city councils are taking all the necessary Morning, CEO. To oh, hey, boss. Uh, did you get a chance to have a look over the report? Forget that. I have something special. Every vote counts. The people of this country need to make their voices heard. It's the very foundation of a democracy, and that is how change happens. Miller? Let's take this to my office. Take a seat. So, what's going on? What have you heard about Miller before the presidential race? Well, that's exactly my point. This guy's come out of nowhere. So what? You want to investigate him? I want you to investigate him. Where he got his money from. Who his connections are. This guy's sitting pretty on our television screens, promising changes. But what do we really know about him apart from what the news tells us? Why do you want to do this? The people need to know who their candidates are. Besides, if he's dirty, we become the heroes. And I know you wouldn't mind your minute of fame. Hmm. Let's find some dirt. If you do this properly, I'll make you my partner. But just don't let that overconfidence get a hold of you. Of course not. Do my best. Don't do your best. Get the job done. Here. Look it over, and that should give you a starting point. On it. The unemployment rate has increased by 3% in the last year. So how do you propose to lower this percentage and create jobs for the potential idle voters? In this country, we begin to count the rate of unemployment from the age of 21. Our youth seek a better future when they enroll themselves into university. They make the sacrifice of paying high tuition fees to oh, receive the education on. they deserve, only to find themselves unemployed by the time they have the degree in their hands.
Bitch. Hello? Mr. Barnes? How do you know my... What you are doing will change everything. Do not persist with your investigation. He's making progress. Keep, Keep watching, watching over, over him. him. Don't, Don't let, let him disrupt, disrupt our purpose. How are we doing, CEO? Election's only a few days from now. OK, thanks. I'll meet you there. Just got off the phone with Owen. Richard Sykes' his lawyer. So? Sykes' fortune went missing. Shortly after he passed, nearly a year ago. He had a connection with Miller. Ah. There we go. I'll keep you posted. Bring me results, Theo. So, what was Sykes' relationship with Miller? What do you mean? Can't be a coincidence that Miller's campaign fund is the exact same amount as Sykes's fortune. The money went missing after his death, right? Yes, we haven't been able to trace it. That money was meant to be donated to charities. How would you explain this? Well, that was last year before he passed. He did mention talking to Mr. Miller at a charity event. Did he say anything else? My business with Mr. Sykes related strictly to his assets, not his personal life. Where did the money go? It was your responsibility. What is this, Theo? It doesn't add up. Months after Sykes' death, Miller announces his candidacy. And what are you implying? I'm not implying anything. The money went somewhere, and by the looks of it, it didn't take a legal path. That's a very serious accusation, Theo. For God's sake, Miller's about to win in a couple of days. That's my point exactly. It's a race against time. There's something off about him. You better not be part of it. Or I'll bring you and Miller down, and it'll be my face in the papers for preventing a shitstorm. Good day. in time. How do we go about this, this time? We've been doing this time and time again. Help!
Who are you? What do you want with me? I've been watching you, Mr. Barnes. We told you to stay off the investigation. What are you talking about? Miller. What all this has to do with Miller? You're working for him. You don't understand. What? That I've been taken captive? That bastard must be dirty if I'm here with you fuckers. This is above your level of comprehension, Mr. Barnes. doing to me? And what's this all about? You suspect that Miller used Sykes's money. Allow me to put your mind at ease. It's true. How can you know and do nothing? There are situations that are part of a bigger picture. What bigger picture? We don't expect you to understand our motives. They are above you and your arrogance. Arrogance? <laughs> you think we don't know? You're doing this for recognition. Not for your country's sake. So what is it you want? To let time run its destined course. Let me go! It will be easier if we show him. If we must. Nations of time. Mr. Barnes, you are interfering in time's way. How can I trust that what you've shown me won't happen with Miller? Our myriad existence has taught us that decisions are leaps of faith. We have prevented problems by showing previous men like you the outcomes of their decisions if they had persisted. I can't. The decision lies with you, Mr. Barnes, in this juncture. Boss, what can I get you? During the first 100 days of his presidency, President Miller has taken all the necessary steps to ensure that his campaign promises ah. are kept afloat. Despite Good stuff. there being frequent debates on strategies to increase employment, it was Miller's reform, Jobs for All, that came into effect last week. So, President Miller, hey. Unemployment by 2%. Yeah. It is predicted that this rate will fall further 
during the course of the year. During his campaign, Kenneth Miller has stated that everyone deserves to work regardless of age or experience. This brings us to the we end of the been broadcast. Heartless. Thank you for watching and have a good afternoon. All this talk about unemployment. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Keep the change. See you around. star in the sky will burn out and die but I will never change every river and tide will one day run dry but I will stay the same don't take that old escape find it leads nowhere don't make that old mistake only time can take you there